Assalamu alaikum and good morning my dear students how are you i hope everybody you are fine by the grace of almighty allah i am also fine by the grace of almighty allah i am mohammad jahangir hussain lecturer in english uttara high school and college uttara dhaka okay my dear students today i will share one thing with you the thing is conditional this thing is conditional in our everyday life it is very very essential for conversation or writing or anyway what is the basic word of this word the basic word is condition condition do my dear student do know what is the bangla meaning of condition the bangla meaning of condition is sharto this is related to this is related to noun okay what is the adjective of this word the adjective of this word is conditional am i clear to you this is basic word we have add we have added l am i clear now it is conditional my dear students what is the bangla meaning of conditional the bangla meaning of conditional is shortadhin okay my dear student now who can say how many types of conditional my dear student do you know there are three types of conditional first is first conditional second conditional and third conditional okay my dear students there are three kinds of conditional these are first conditional second conditional and third conditional am i clear to you now at first i will discuss with you about first conditional then second conditional then third conditional okay my dear students now how my dear students how you will understand that that the sentence is related to first conditional or conditional at first you will you have to follow that you will get if in the sentence what you will get you will get if what you will get if in any sentence it is related to conditional and conditional sentence must be in complex sentence so how many sentences i have to make in complex sentence i have to make minimum two sentences am i clear to you my dear students follow me first conditional when you get if the plus present indefinite tense related sentence it will be first conditional am i clear to you this is one part of first conditional as it is related to complex sentence so i have to make minimum two sentences am i clear so this is one sentence what of this is one part of the sentence i have to make another part of the sentence what will be the another part of the sentence the another part of the sent of the sentence will be in future indefinite tense am i clear to you my dear students okay thank you my dear students now before giving the example at first i have to clarify this part if present indefinite tense what is the structure of present indefinite tense my dear students the structure is subject then v1 that means main verb the present form of main verb or v1 plus s or es when we will add s or es my dear students when you will get the subject is related to third person singular noun verb in that respect if the sentence is related to present indefinite tense then you have to add s or es with the main verb am i clear to you my dear students the extension am i clear to you now i am giving example by following this structure follow me if then subject subject v1 or s or es with the main verb if subject here is you if you the main verb here is call and it is related to present indefinite tense or v1 form if you call the extension if you call me 
my dear students am i clear to you if you call me what is the bangla meaning of this part of the sentence the bangla meaning is jodi tumi amake call othoba dako this is one part of the first conditional sentence i have to make another part the another part will be related to future indefinite tense so before starting the example related to future indefinite tense at first you have to know the structure of future indefinite tense the structure is subject then shall or will you have to model you have to use modal auxiliary shall or will then you have to add v1 that means the basic or main verb in present tense then extension and you can add another two model two models these are can or may am i clear my dear students now i am giving the example following the second part of the sentence here subject 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 is i then shall or will this is modal auxiliary now i have to take one i am telling here i will then main verb in present form go the next session to call is so what is the example of first conditional now follow if you call me this is related to this part i will go to college this is related to this part there are two parts here it related these two parts combinedly it will be in first conditional so now finally i am giving the example if you call me if you call me i will go to college am i clear my dear students have you understood everybody okay my dear students if you understand the example and structure of first conditional it will be very easy to you to understand second conditional and third conditional can i start second conditional my dear student yes now i am starting in second conditional before giving the example of first conditional at first i have added that you will get if say if if when you get the sentence using if it will be conditional now i will share about second conditional if here the sentence was related to present indefinite tense here in second conditional you will get the sentence in past indefinite tense here present indefinite tense here is past indefinite tense am i clear to you my dear students okay now i am giving the structure to you okay my dear students if past indefinite tense what is the structure of past indefinite tense the structure is subject then here is v1 in present form when we will make it second conditional related to past indefinite tense the verb must be in v2 that means past form of the verb then extension am i clear to you okay my dear students am i clear to you now this is one part i have to make another part of the sentence the another part will be same if you understand this it will be very easy here it is related to present indefinite tense here it is related to past indefinite tense so here subject subject shall what is the past form of shall should what is the past form of will would or if you want to use can what will be the past form of can it will be could if you want to use may it is indicating future if you want to use may what will be the past form of may it will be might am i clear to you okay my dear students here is v1 here is also v1 am i clear to you okay then extension extension i think it is very easy to you now i am giving the example related to second conditional am i clear to you so follow the structure if if am i clear to you 
then past indefinite tense. I convert into this sentence into past indefinite tense. You, here you. This is in present form. What do you mean the past form of call? Call. And I get you? Then me, me. If you called me, if you called me, this part is related to past indefinite tense. So it will be in second conditional. I have given one part of the second conditional. Okay, now I have to make another part of the sentence. The another part part will be here subject, subject I. Am I clear? Then should, would, could. Here, here I have used will. So what will be the past form of will? Would. I have used here would. I would. Would. Okay? Then V1. Here is also V1. V1. What is the V1 here? Go. Then we have to add here go. Then extension. Am I clear to you? So finally, the example will be if you call to me, if you call to me, I would go to college. My dear students, am I clear to you? Have you understood? Okay. Thank you, my dear students. Now, I will discuss about third conditional with you. If you understand these two parts, that is two conditional, it will be very easy to you. Now, in first, first conditional, the sentence will be related to present indefinite. Second conditional, past indefinite. And third conditional, Past perfect. Am I clear to you, my dear students? Now, past perfect. If, if, what is the structure of past perfect tense? Subject. Then you have to add head. Am I clear to you? Then V3. That means the past participle form of the main verb, the extension. Am I clear to you, my dear students? Am I clear to you? Okay. The, this is one part of third conditional. I have to make, yes, it is related to complex sentence, so I have to make another sentence. The another sentence will be, if you understand this, it will be very helpful to you. Here is subject, subject, subject. Then should, or would, or could. Should in third conditional follow. Should, would, could. Another is might. Here is also might. Am I clear to you, my dear students? Then here, here, might. Okay? In third conditional, I have to add have. Am I clear to you? So the structure will be subject plus should, should have, or could have or might have or would have am I clear to that means subject plus should or would or could or might then I have to add have am I clear to okay here the main verb was in present form here the main verb will be related to past participle form am I clear to then extension. Now, I am making one sentence or I am giving one example to you. First one, if plus past perfect tense. If. What is the structure? Structure is subject. Here, subject you. Then I have to head. Am I clear to you? Okay, my dear students. Then past perfect tense. Then what will be? What will be the what will be the main verb here in present form called past form called past participle form is also called so the example will be if you called the extension here is me here is me if you called me am I clear to you my dear students okay now this is one word of one part of the sentence of third conditional. I have to make another part of the sentence. Here, 
Here is subject. Here was subject. Here is subject. Should, should. Would, would. Could, could. Might, might. So I am giving for I would. I would. Here I have to add have. I have to add have. Am I clear to you, my dear students? Now have. Then what will be the main verb in third conditional here? It will be related to past participial form. The present form is go, past form is went, and past participle is gone. So I would have gone. Then extension, that is also extension. Here extension is to call this. Am I clear to you, my dear students? Okay, now again follow. If you if you had called me, I would have gone to college. Am I clear, my dear students? Am I clear to you? Okay, my dear students. Now here follow again. Starting is if, if, if. In every conditional, we can change or we can transform into another way. Here I have used if starting of the sentence. I can also use if, 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 middle of the sentence. So how I will make the then last part will be at first and first part will be in last. I would have gone to college. Am I clear to you? I would have gone to college. If you called me, am I clear to you? I would have gone to college. Okay? If you called me, here at first I have used if. It is linkers or characters. Then middle of the part of the sentence I have added or give, given comma. When you use Connectors in the middle of the part of the sentence, then you have to omit that comma. Am I clear to you, my dear students? Am I clear to you? Okay, my dear students. Thank you. Now I am giving two exceptional sentences. If I had money. My dear students, this part is related to second condition. Now I am giving two exceptional rules or example to you. If I had money, am I clear to you? If it is if, so it is related to conditional sentence and it is related to past. Indefinite tense have. This is present form. What is the past form of have? Have. Am I clear to you? If I had money, I would I would help the poor. Am I clear to you, my dear students? And sometimes you will not get if. But the sentence will be in conditional. Now, how I will understand the sentence will be in conditional without using if. Okay, my dear student, you, you will avoid if, then this had you have to use at first. Am I clear to you? Now, how this will be? Had I money? Had I money? I would have helped the poor. This is related to conditional. That means in second conditional. This is ex ex uh, exceptional. Am I clear to you? Same way. In previous third conditional example, now I am giving. If you had called me, I would have gone to college. There are two exceptions related to second conditional and third conditional. 
Okay? Now, I will avoid if. Then it will be in conditional sentence. Okay? I am avoiding if. Here, this head of Jira River. Now I am giving at first head. Am I clear to my dear students? Heading called me. I would have gone to college. Am I clear to you? This is exception. Sometimes, so my students, sometimes you will get head, and it is it must be related to con, uh, conditional sentence. Sentence that means second conditional or third conditional. Here, head is at first. Here, head is at first. So how will you understand this sentence is related to in second conditional or third conditional? How you will get head at first? And if you, if you don't get any verb after subject, there is, there is no verb, then it will be related to second conditional. Am I clear to you, my dear students? Now, here is head. Here is also head. Head. Then follow. After subject, you are getting the main verb. The main verb is called. Am I clear to you? The main verb is called. Here, there is no verb. Head, after subject, there is no verb. This is related to second conditional. Am I clear? Now, here is head. But after subject, you are getting one verb. This is called. So, when you get head and after subject, main verb in past uh, perfect form or past participle form, then it will be related to third conditional. Am I clear to you, my dear students? Do you have any question, my dear students? Okay, my dear students. I think everybody you have understood. Thank you. Pray for me. Best of luck. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.